Hello crafty friends, welcome back to another episode of All Things Cut and Craft. I am Abiola and I am from Gaspar.com. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you are new to this page, if you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button if you are watching from YouTube and hit that notification bell for you to get notified whenever we upload a new video. And if you are also watching from Facebook, don't forget to hit the follow button up there that will make you a part of this family and you will get to um, get notified whenever we upload a new video. So today's video is about Easter. Let me first wish everyone a happy Easter in advance. So I posted this video on Quick Fix with Abiola and I said I will be posting the other part, I mean the, how I achieved this on all things cut and craft. So this is it because I actually used a cutting machine to do that. So I'm going to be explaining how I did that. Don't go anywhere. I will soon be back. The supplies for the project are weeder, um, measuring tape, the plastic hex, the ruler with measurement, um, the standard grip mat which is the green mat and you also need some other things which I will show you as we progress and you will learn more about them. So this is the vinyl that we are going to be using. This adheres to most things and it comes in permanent and temporary vinyl. So the first thing I want to do before I cut is to get my hex out of the package. Then it comes in two, then I'll just strap them together like so. And after doing that, I will get my measuring tape. So I will need to get the actual measurement of what I'm going to be cutting out before I cut the vinyl. So for this project, I'll be using 2.5 and you can see this has a hole where I'll be putting my fishing line. So I'll get a banner. So I'll be using 2.5 for the height. Then I'll just calculate this as height of each letters. As I said, there will be 11 letters because we have 11 letters in happy Easter and by the way we are going to be writing happy Easter so there are 11 letters on happy Easter so I'll be checking the width too which will be 1 inches and I'm trying to verify the height so I'll know how to cut what I want to do accurate so I'll be cutting 12 inches by 2.5 which is the height and the 12 inches will go for each letter so each letters for the weight we have about one inches or there i mean one inch or thereabout so then i grab my green mat which is the standard grip mat which is used for most of the things that is being cut some exceptions though so next week we are going to be talking about this mat and some other too so watch out for the video next week so from there i will grab my tablet and try to confirm if my design is accurate with what i have on the mat let me show you this so this is it i'll be going to canvas and then go to upload so i already uploaded this image on my uploaded images so this is it right here. So I did this outside the sign space. Um, tutorial about this will be coming later. So this is the image right here. So this is what I did from there. I went to edit and I tried to unlock this because if you don't unlock this, it won't, you won't be able to do anything. On it so if you do you to go back to the previous um, edit so you need to unlock this first so I'll click this or oh, I think this chain so before it will bring 
the keyboard but now it's not bringing it so i want this to be 12 no it can't be 12 because of the mat i'm using so i'll have to reduce it to 11.5 yeah i guess that will be the best 11.5 because this will just be the perfect um size for the type of mat i'm going to be using for this project and i will check the height the height i measured on the head was 2.5 so i'll be using 2.5 so each letter will be like one inches or less than one inches because we actually have 11 letters here i said nine the other time because i wasn't counting the double hay and the double p so we're actually having 11 letters and they have one inches each whereas the height will be 2.5 inches so i hope you get that and this is how i want it to be there i'll click make it and it will bring it here as you can see it says dimensions of images too large for default my review this and go on the next screen so i'll click ok but i have to go back and edit this so it will reduce it to a size that's my mat so the one you see there is for the 12 by 24 inches mat there's a my mat like so that is long as this but i don't have this presently but i'll be showing you in the next video so watch out it's not yet so I'll be going back to the canvas to do the edit again. So I'll select this first, then I'll click this. Um, then I'll reduce this. I don't know. I need a keyboard. Okay, here you go. So I can, yeah, so this is 11.5. So this is what I need. And let's check it right now. If I click make it, yeah, this is how it will look like. So this will tally with what I have on the green mat. So I'll click continue. So I'll do the connect. So it's connecting with the machine right now so after connecting i will have to do some other few things on the tablet which is choosing the material i'll be cutting which is the vinyl then i will click the rare i mean i'll click the flashing button then i also click the quick cut button for the cutting to start to detect two then the cutting will start at this point as you can see my project is in progress so from there it has finished and it will tell you to unload mat and i'll click the same button to unload my mat and this is how it looks like after the cut so you can see that it's very nice and you can see the cut lines clear so i'll grab my weeder this is what is called weeder i think i've mentioned this once i'll grab the weeder to remove those parts that i don't need in the project so i'll work on that for some minutes i think i'm done then i'll grab okay i need to still get some few vinyl out of the middle part there yes before we proceed i forgot to mention that cricut is also one of the supplies and you will get links in the description box where you can purchase yours and if you do let me know so we can go together so this is it after weeding so and what i am holding right now is called transfer tip it comes in a roll like that of vinyl and it is used to transfer your cut onto blanks. So like the eggs are called blanks. The cups, the shirts, they are called blanks. 
so this is what you do i'm trying to maximize this so i cut a little bit so i'll be using it for the project after putting it i'll just continue like so so i will firstly use this rubbing alcohol to just clean the surface of the hair so that i'll prepare it for stickiness and i will remove every dirt that may be on the head so then i'll just apply it like so on my head and this is what i will do i will repeat until i finish the whole head As I proceed, I notice that I will need to start adding my fishing line before adding the letter so it doesn't disorient the letters while on the plastic head. So I decided to stop, then add it to the two I already did before I proceeded with other um, letters that I have to put on the head. So this is what you see me do right here. I'm just trying to fix the fishing line then I continue with the letters as i continued the project it got to a point that I needed to change the transfer tape because it wasn't sticky that much so this is it you can also do it this other way you can remove it from the mat and then place it down very well so that it will stick to the transfer tape very well before you transfer it to your project and you have to be careful while doing this because you don't want to spoil your project and you don't want to start all over again so you have to be careful and because of the shape of this blank it wasn't sticking down that much like if you have it on a flat surface so you can see some bumps there so and this is it i'm done with all the letters and i really love it i put it somewhere around the house i also did it in my boys class i just transferred it over to the class so that will be all for today guys thank you thank you for watching and if you are watching up till this moment you are here to subscribe you are watching from youtube please subscribe and if you are watching from facebook click the follow button and um, i want to wish everyone again a happy easter thank you so much for staying with us and this is your crafty friend telling you to Create your own happiness because it's in your hands. See you next time.